Well, the Q Barbecue Fest is coming back to Denver. It's happening this weekend. This is an all protein party. Can you imagine? Yep, Civic Center Park again this weekend, Friday and Saturday. You've got something really cool to do. Well, joining me this morning, two award winning pit masters who will be there bringing the eats. It's Bill Espericueta, owner of Smoke Barbecue, and Blaine Bagal, owner of Adobo and also Gales Texas Barbecue. I'm from Texas, so. So is Bill. <laughs> so is Bill. What part of Texas, Bill? I was born in Austin. Really, yeah. San Antonio Austin. neighbors, mm -hmm. right? Okay, Bill, I'll start with you. What's the Q Barbecue Fest all about? What does it give you a chance to do? It gives us us local chefs a chance to reach out to clients and customers that they might not know about us, and it allows us to raise the culture of barbecue in Denver. I love it. Are you a big barbecue fan? I am. I, I grew up with it in Austin and Kansas City my whole life, so yeah. this is something that's passionate for me to be able to experience. I love that you're bringing like that true Austin barbecue because there are several areas in Austin that have good barbecue. Oh, yeah, best in the country for sure. Best in the country. What dishes will you be serving up at the fest? So I'm doing heirloom tomatoes mm -hmm. salad with the white sauce and then uh, smoked mm. lamb shoulder on pita with pickled onions. That smells and looks wonderful. Now, Blaine, talk to me about adobo. What is the place like and what are some of your most popular dishes there? Yeah, so adobo started as a local food truck. Um, mm -hmm. We've been running around the streets for many years. We opened up a wow. restaurant in 2020. Um, Latin Asian, I'm Filipino and I'm from New Mexico, so it's hard to pick which you know you love the most. And so that's what I started cooking at adobo on the food truck, I'm sorry. Um, at the restaurant, we do tacos, rice bowls, um, our famous lumpia from my grandmother's recipes and try to represent the Filipino culture in Denver and also the New Mexican cuisine that I love so much. I love that you've mixed them both and, and you have a little bit of both in you and you bring it out to your food. Okay, well, adobo definitely going to be a must try for me. Now, what will you be serving up at the Q Barbecue Fest? And I also want you to touch a little bit on Gale, Texas barbecue. Yeah, absolutely. So with adobo, we're serving these pork belly tacos. Um, we call them Encarnacion. Oh. After Nacho Libre, just love that movie so much. <laughs> yes. Uh, it's a feeling that it gives you when you eat them, but uh, cherry smoked pork belly, blanco, uh, queso blanco, some roasted jalapenos, sesame seeds, a little bit of green onion, and uh, sweet chili sauce. It's, it's a punch in the mouth. But oh good. my God. So I'm going to have to do the Encarnacion. No, that's, yes. That's the one. See, I'm familiar <laughs> with Nacho Libre for sure. Okay, why do you think this event is a must do? Uh, it's a must do if you love barbecue in Denver. You know, you want to come out and so, uh, support the local businesses that are out there showcasing their offerings. There's a lot of amazing chefs from around the country, uh, pitmasters that are going to be there. And um, it's a celebration of barbecue. If you love barbecue and you live here in Denver, it's definitely a place you want to be. Oh my gosh, barbecue is definitely calling at me because it smells so wonderful. If you could smell what I'm smelling, you would be there this weekend as well. Now, Bill, smoke is a really great place to eat big barbecue. What makes it so unique for all those barbecue lovers? Uh, for us, it's the combination of Texas style and Kansas City style. Okay. As those are the two places I grew up. Um, we focus a lot on, on our brisket as well as doing kind of Latin American sides. We've got nachos, we have tacos with caramel tortilla that's made in Kansas City. Um, so it's just kind of the variation of the different styles for us. That's right. And now where's Smoke located? We're in the Source Hotel over off of uh, Brian Boulevard. Yep, okay. That's, uh, that's very near where I'm at. And then where can we find Adobo? So Adobo's on Spear and Federal and okay. up in the West Highlands. And we have a Killer Taco Tuesday. We just won Best Wing Deal in Denver with 75 cent wings. Um, then Gales Texas Barbecue is down at McGregor Square in Milepost Zero. Our food stall is there. You can find it every time you go to a Rockies game or whenever you find yourself downtown. Great locations. I mean, it really, anyone you choose, you're going to be hanging out in a really cool spot. But the place to be is this weekend at this Q Barbecue Fest. I haven't been, but I'll tell you what, I'm going to be there looking for the both of you this weekend. And my last question is, what else happens at this Q Barbecue Fest? I'll head it to you first. Uh, I've done a lot of them. A lot's going on. It's a really good time. Uh, cold beer, cold drinks, kid activities, uh, cooking demos. This year we have a wing eating competition, a slider eating competition, and then a rib throwdown. So oh if you can gosh. eat and you love barbecue, <laughs> this is definitely the place for you. And Bill, what do you think is the best part about the Q Barbecue Fest? Outside of eating as much barbecue as you can fit in, it's, I think the demos are really cool because it's 
all the chefs will be doing something different that they're not serving, and then you'll be able to get some insights onto some of the techniques. Oh my gosh, I love it. All right, how about that wing eating contest? I've got an eight year old who'll take anybody down any day. <laughs> and she's only eight, but she loves wings. Bone in, by the way. All right, here is some information for you guys to attend this weekend. Sounds like this is the place to be. The family friendly Q Barbecue Fest serves up award winning cuisine. You've got local music, barbecue tutorials, and demonstrations on the Weber cooking stage. There will be games, activities as well. It's happening at Civic Center Park this Friday and Saturday. If you want tickets, go to qbbqdenver.com. That's qbbqdenver.com. And when you're there, go over and say hi to Bill and Blaine.